Welcome to the video on naming compounds. This is focusing on isomers. Isomers are molecules that have the same atoms, but they're arranged in different ways. So for example, we learned last time that this would be called bute because of the one, two, three, four carbon atoms that are in there. And then we know it's an alkene, so it had the ending ene onto the end. And we call it bute-2-ene because this double bond is right in the middle attached to the second carbon. So we learned this in the last video. But what happens if we take away one of these carbons and attach it in a different place? For example, here. Now we have exactly the same number of atoms and we have a double bond, but they're arranged in a different way completely. Here we have the longest chain of three carbons, which is prop, and it's still ene, but we also have this methyl group attached. So this would be called methyl propene. We could also have something you've never heard of like cyclobutane. The point is, we can have these exact same numbers of atoms, the same molecular formula with the same number of carbons and hydrogens, but they're arranged differently, structured differently. These are called structural isomers. And you'll need to know that name isomer because it means having the same atoms arranged in a different way. And in your exams, you might have to come up with some different structures with the same number of atoms. The next type of isomer we're going to talk about is called geometric isomers. And this only occurs when we have a double bond. But let's look at single bonds first. Here if we have a single bond, we've got ethane. It's got two carbons. And we've also got a bromine attached to each one of them. So we've got one, two, dibromo, because there's two bromines, ethane. That's the name. But we could also draw that with the bromines on opposite sides to each other. That would also be one, two, dibromo, ethane. The exact same name because it actually is the same structure. In reality, this single bond here can spin around. So if you can imagine this is an axis round here and this first carbon can spin around, it could spin around so the bromine is either on the bottom or the top. Or the second one could spin around so the bromine's on the bottom or the top. So these are the same atoms because there's only a single bond in between them. But what happens when we get to a double bond is very different. This double bond can't spin freely. And therefore, if we have two bromines on the bottom, it's different from having a bromine on the top and another bromine on the bottom. So we can no longer just call them both 1,2-dibromoethene. And remember, this is ethene because there's a double bond there. We have to have a way to distinguish between them. And the way that we do it is we add a cis for ones that are on the same side of the double bond, and we add a trans for atoms that are on the opposite side of the double bond. Now, one way to remember this is that cis for sisters is on the same side. So sisters go together, they're on the same side of the double bond. But trans means opposite. Whether you're talking about a transalpine plane, meaning it's on the opposite side of the Alps, or whether you're talking about transgender, which is the opposite gender, trans means opposite. So they're on different sides. So just remember, the same side is cis, the opposite side is trans. Now these cis-trans isomers are called geometric isomers. And that's the second and last type of isomer you'll need to know. So here's what you need to take away from this video. You need to know that isomers are compounds or molecules that have the same atoms but different arrangements. And there are two types of isomers. The first we looked at was structural isomers. We've got the exact same molecular formula, for example, C3H6, three carbons and six hydrogens, but different structural formula. So we can arrange them differently. For example, we could arrange C3H6 as propene, or we could arrange it as cyclopropane. Different structures, but the same molecular formula. By the way, you won't need to know how to name these cycloalkanes. The second type of isomer we looked at were geometric isomers. This is when we have alkenes or double or even triple bonds. And we need to know that we add cis when we have two atoms that are on the same side and we call it trans when the two atoms are on opposite sides. So here's two examples here. Let's look at some NCA questions. This one has two parts. First, we have a compound of molecular formula C2, two carbons, hydrogens, there are two, and chlorine, there are two. It can exist as cis, trans, or geometrical isomers. So we need to draw and name these two. So if we remember, there's always going to be a double bond with cis and trans isomers. So we draw our two carbons with a double bond. That's our first start. And we also know there's two CLs and two hydrogens that are going to be attached somehow. For the cis isomer, we want to have the chlorines on the same side. 
Whereas for the trans isomer, we want them on the opposite side. And then we add our hydrogens on. Now we've drawn them, we also need to name them. So remember for the top, they're on the same side, so it's cis and the bottom is trans. And the actual name is 1,2-dichloro, because it's two chlorines, and then ethene. Eth for two carbons and ene for an alkene. And the bottom is exactly the same except for the trans. This one's called trans 1,2-dichloroethene. So this is the first part of the question. The second part of the question is that there's another structural isomer of C2H2Cl2. And this cannot exist as cis or trans isomers. So we need to figure out what it is and draw the structural formula for this molecule. And we need to explain why it can't exist as cis trans isomers, while the previous one can. So the answer, if you fiddle around on paper and try and work it out, is actually this one here. We have to have a double bond because we don't have enough hydrogens to fill up all four of carbon's bonds otherwise. But we have the CLs on the same carbon. Now you could have drawn it where the chlorines are on the right hand side instead of the left hand side, but this is actually the same molecule. We could have just flipped this one over here and we'd get this bottom picture. And they're both called 1,1-dichloroethene. And you actually don't even need the ones there because either way you have it, it's attached to the first carbon. You could just call it dichloroethene. So your answer could be something like this. The halogens or the chlorines are both bonded to the same carbon. And to be a cis and trans isomer, they must be bonded to different carbon atoms. And that is how you name different isomers.